around the front of the knee to supply that area with lots of oxygen. Now, that popliteal artery comes down to here. Once I get here, I see this artery diving. That's my anterior tibial artery. It's going to dive through the interosseous membrane. So if I take this off, you can see the interosseous membrane right here. It's kind of a grayish white structure that's holding the fibula and the tibia sturdy. So as it comes out, now that's going to be your anterior tibial artery. Once that branches, now this becomes posterior tibial artery. Then posterior tibial artery gives off this branch. This is your peroneal artery. Now that artery dies and stays in the lateral compartment. So it supplies these muscles here. Okay? All right. Now, posterior tibial runs on down, on down, and then it comes out underneath the foot. And then it's going to branch to your medial plantar artery and lateral plantar artery, and that's where it stops. That's where we're going to stop at for this class. So you can see all of that artery, the majority of it, you can see on the mom. Now, the anterior tibial <coughs> artery, we have to look at that on that little plat model because you can see that. Um, so, you can see your vessels coming down. It's your abdominal aorta. Then you can see it split right here. This is your common iliac, left and right. Then you can see this splitting right here. That's your internal iliac. As soon as that splits, now this becomes your external iliac. Um, the external iliac comes on down. Now, I don't see an inguinal ligament, though. So, let me come on this side. This is all ours. Okay. I don't see my inguinal ligament. So, that's, so, I'm assuming that must be cutting across right here. So, now all of this is your femoral artery. Your femoral artery comes down. And... Coming through the adductor hiatus. I don't really see my hiatus, but it goes through the adductor hiatus and becomes that posterior tibial artery. And now you can see how this dives in the front. This is anterior tibial. And this is going to continue on down as that posterior tibial. And then the posterior tibial is going to give off your branches down here. So kind of tricky though because this is coming out as anterior tibia. So this is posterior in the back, posterior, posterior. Now I can see my lateral and medial plantar artery. Anterior tibia is coming on down and becomes that dorsalis pedis right here. Then the dorsalis pedis makes up this arcuate artery right here. Then the arcuate artery gives off the dorsal metatarsal arteries right here. And then these coming out as your dorsal digital arteries as it branches again. So, your dorsal digital arteries are out here. That's your arcuate artery there. So, I'll show you that again. That's why I wanted to show you this. Okay, now. Okay, now, did this make sense? Okay, did that make sense? All right. So, now. We can see very easily how we can trace a drop of blood. I hope she doesn't erase that one. So easy. Yeah, you can. Because you have a lot of your landmark regions. Inguinal ligament is a landmark. Adductor hiatus is a landmark. Okay. Inguinal ligament, this is a landmark. Landmark. Okay. Adductor hiatus is a landmark. That's a landmark. Okay. Diving through here, this interosseous membrane. This is a landmark. And that's only for the anterior tibial artery? Uh huh. Okay. Only for the anterior tibial artery as it comes off that popliteal artery. Okay. All right. So, medial and lateral valleolus, landmark. Okay, now, 
over here, I kind of gave you the trace if you were coming back up that leg. So if you were tracing a drop of blood to the fifth digit on the right foot and then back to the heart, then back to the heart, then you would trace out through that anterior tibia out through here down to this dorsal digital artery, then you will come back, dorsal venous arch, great saphenous vein, and you can't see that on this mom, but you can see it on wet tissue. Then that femoral vein, external iliac vein, common iliac vein, and then that dumps into the inferior vena cava. 